Welcome back to the Ace to Z of Oldham's Mills. Ace Mill, located on Gore Street, Chatterton, certainly has had an interesting life. It has outlived the younger, more modern, concrete designs of neighbouring Chatterton Power Station, constructed on the opposite bank to her, on the Rochdale Canal in the area known as Slacks Valley. Originally, Gore's number no. 2 mill, it was planned in 1911 by architect Philip Sidney Scott. The cotton industry peaked in 1912 when it produced 8 billion yards of cloth. The Great War halted the supply of raw cotton and the British government encouraged its colonies to build mills and spin and weave its own cotton. When the mill was completed in 1914, it was immediately requisitioned for aircraft manufacturing during World War I. The Avro facility in Chelleton would not open until 1939, which means aircraft such as this Avro 504 were being made in Chelleton 25 years before the site was even considered. In 1914, the British Air Service had just 272 machines. But by October 1918, the newly formed RAF could call on 22,000 aircraft. Cotton spinning did not start until 1919 for Ace Mill Limited, who renamed the site to its current name. A 2,000 horsepower Urmson and Thompson engine was installed along with 118,000 and 32 Platt Brothers spinning mules. But Lancashire never regained its markets and the independent mills were struggling. The Bank of England set up the Lancashire Cotton Corporation in 1929 in an attempt to rationalise and save the industry. Ace Mill was one of the 104 mills bought by the Lancashire Cotton Corporation and one of the 53 that has survived through to 1950. Looking at the newly completed Broadway in 1930, running up the left side of the picture towards Royton, we see Ace and Gore's Mill, bottom left, complete with the many sheds which would have been added during the war to increase manufacturing space. It's a lot easier to keep an aircraft on the ground when you're trying to construct it, only a few of these sheds remain, the rest are now under Costco's car park. Next is all four mills together, Rugby, Ram and Gauze. Taken from the unenviable location of being at nose height inside Fox Denton Series Treatment Works. In 1964, Carl Tolds who were the world's leading man-made fibre production company, owned the mill briefly until 1967. In the 1970s, Nettle Accessories, later known as Eaton MEM 250, manufacturers of electrical accessories, purchased the building and stayed there until 2005, when they moved to a more modern facility on Broadway Business Park with the loss of 200 jobs. Ace Mill is now used as a bonded warehouse, which is a secure building in which imported dutiable merchandise can be stored without payment for up to five years from the date of its importation. Thank you for watching and don't forget, we're going to visit every mill listed in the metropolitan borough of Oldham. So if you did work in any of the A mills, then please drop us an email telling us a little about what you did and we'll give you a mention when we reach that mill. Please comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.